Oasis TV, bringing worlds together. I fell in love in Crawford too, but I fell back in love with my country. I really hated my country. I thought, how can these people be so apathetic? How can we allow this man to continue with his policies? And um, before I went to Crawford, I spoke at the Veterans for Peace Convention, and I had gotten an email. <laughs> I have to go back. When I sent out the email saying I was going to Crawford, I called Bush an mf -er. But I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say it out. I said MF -er. I didn't. I didn't say the whole thing. And, and I said, "Oops." I said, "I'm going to go, and I'm going to demand that he speak to me and give give me some answers." And my friend emailed me. She goes, "Cindy, you know, you would catch a lot more flies with honey than vinegar. You know, if you weren't, if you didn't use so much profanity." And <clears throat> And so, number one, you know, what's more profane, me speaking some words or us being in Iraq? You know, what the policies of George Bush. But then, and she said, you could probably get some of the people sitting on the fence. And my thought was, this is a church, so I won't say it, but it's like, why, how, how can anybody still be sitting on that fence? You know, if you... If you fall on the side of the fence that is pro-war and pro-Bush, then you get over to the recruitment center and you sign up and you go fight this war. And if you fall on the side that is pro-peace and anti-war and anti-Bush, then you also get off your butts and go do something. And I have been working really hard for months. You know, I just didn't decide to go to Crawford on August 3rd, and that wasn't my first action. I've been doing things for a long time. And it's very tiring just being a grieving mother. It's just a struggle to get up in the morning, you know, let alone um, do peace activism, going all over the country speaking. And I saw this building for months. I would go to communities and I would speak and they would all agree with me and at the end they would always say, but what can we do, Cindy? And I had these, well, you go to your recruitment centers, you stop the young people from signing up, you write letters to your congress people, you do this, you do that. <clears throat> and then I decided to go to Crawford and this amazed me. It overwhelmed me, the support and the people. We had over 10,000 people come to Crawford to Camp Casey. 